name is Tim Fagan, product specialist for Neptune Chemical Pump. And today we're gonna to go through calibration on the electronic stroke controller. As you can see, we have this connected to a 500 series pump. It doesn't matter, this same controller is used throughout the hydraulically actuated pumps that we have, which is our 600, 6,000 and 500 series pumps. As you can see, this has already been connected to the pump. And the, when you receive it, you'll have to take off the front cover. The front cover comes off with a six millimeter wrench, four screws, and it slides off. When it slides off, you'll come to your connections. Now you're ready to set up the controller. Uh, the controller can be powered up by using single phase 115, 220 volt by connecting your, your, uh, your neutral and your hot uh, connections to L and N over here on the backside connectors. Your input command, which is your analog 4 to 20 milliamp signal, comes in your input command here, as you can see on these two connections right here. All right, we have our wires for our analog and our power connected. When everything is powered up, you're going to see a display. It should be in the position um, display. Now, when you're adjusting your analog to a certain point on your pump, you need to be in the remote, I'm sorry, in the local uh, mode. You see it says remote. We gotta change that to local. In order to do that, we want to set it to local remote, enter, and hit and see where it says view you hit it again where it says edit then you hit your up and down to local then you hit enter and it saves now you're in the local and now you can hit cancel and now you're ready to set your pump up okay now we're going to set our zero point or four milliamps four to twenty milliamps is set at the factory uh, but you can make those settings anything you want through the positioner here so what you gotta do is you gotta set your, your zero point and you can do that through a calibration column or a water meter, uh, but you can see by the arrow here. What we gotta do is we got to adjust, I'm adjusting a, the analog signal and we can, whatever that, that no flow or zero point is, we can take our scale, which is just a sticker and we'll place it onto where that point of zero is. Once we do that, we have to set on in the positioner that zero point. So once we do that, we'll go from position remote, we wanna be in local. So we wanna go You see where it says local remote? Hit enter, hit enter again, and then local save now we're in local okay now we have to set the positioner to the limit the zero limit in order to do that we want we want to go the limit here where it says cl limit you hit enter hit enter again and it says edit now we can set our four milliamps on the analog. And then we hit enter again, and now it's saved. Okay, we got the 20 milliamp signal on the controller. Now we want to adjust over here to our 100 spot. Now we already did the zero, so we want to Push our down button until we reach the 100%. Once you're at that 100%, we can save it. Once we saved it, now your four and 20 are set. And four being zero and 100 being 100% of flow. Okay, now to check your four to 20 signal and your span on zero and 100 we must put this back into remote 
So if you remember, we'll go one, two, three, remote, hit enter, hit enter again, edit, remote, and that saves it. And you see it's already moving because I already have a four milliamp signal to it. And that's where we set it. Now we wanna put 20 on here. It's gonna go up to 20. And again, using your scale sticker and that that should be the span of your stroke. And that's how you calibrate the electric stroke controller. Thank you.